history is made here today as Callie Mayer, Connor Sports' latest signing, becomes the first female driver of the modern era to participate in an F1 race. What a moment. I've got goosebumps. Now, for those of you wondering at home, only a handful of women have entered at least one Grand Prix over the years, but none have even had the opportunity to qualify since 1992. Italy's Giovanna Amati, for those of you wondering. So today is very much a new dawn here in Baku. And Maya was impressive in qualifying, so let's see what the Grand Prix has in store for her. Yeah, I have to say, it is quite a tight-knit pack out there. Biggest competition all round. I really wouldn't want to call this one. Indeed. We've seen some brilliant driving here today, especially from young Callie Mayer. She seems to have made the transition to F1 as if she was born for it. Here comes Callie Mayer, closing in on her teammates. She's practically on top of me. Aiden, calm down. You're on different strategies. Just let Callie pass. OK, Callie, Aiden's going to let you pass at the next corner. Let's go. Copy. Will Mayer get past her teammate now? Here she comes. But there's contact. Contact between the two Connor Sport drivers. Jackson's out. He gets the worst of it. Mayer's clear. Jackson's damage looks bad. I think you're right, Crofty. His race is over. Mayer seemed to catch Jackson unawares, though. I'm not sure why. What was that? Why did she wait for me to move over on the exit? OK, Aiden, are you all right? It's just another butler. I thought he was letting me through. Yeah, I know, Callie. I'm sorry about that, but it's happened now. It's over. Let's get your head down and focus. Come on. We'll talk about it later. Copy. seconds a lap to you. Good job.
Okay, that's us with five laps of fuel remaining. Five laps of fuel left. Our gap behind is 4.2 seconds.
prepare for three more laps. for the race, final lap. Okay, just two laps of fuel remaining now. Gap to the car in front is 2.6 seconds. Race over, take care of the car on the way in. Well, in spite of the drama amongst those at the top of the standings, so much of the discussion today has centred around honour sport. Absolutely, a bittersweet race for them today. One historic debut, one DNF. I mean, you couldn't write it. And talking of that debut, what did you make of Callie Mayer's first ever start? Well, I am so excited to see Callie racing in F1. It is great for the sport. She is a phenomenal talent. I can't wait to see what the season holds and her career as a whole. And if today is anything to go by, the name Callie Mayer is one that we'll be watching with a lot of interest for many years to come. Ferrari are at it again. An excellent performance at today's Grand Prix and they're certainly a team that know what they're doing out there.
and do you feel extra pressure at Connor Sport? It must be difficult with your dad looking over your shoulder. <sighs> Look, it's F1. It's not possible for me to feel any more pressure than I already do. So no, it's not an issue. Kelly, have you felt any pushback from anyone in the F1 world, just with you being the first female driver in the sport? No, everyone's been amazing. And I'm not the first, I'm just the latest. How's your brother? Are you really just keeping his seat warm? Uh, you'd have to ask him that, um, but he is getting the help that he needs. And no, I have no intention of giving up this seat. What happened out there between you and Aiden today? Uh, it's just a mix-up. Um, I, I thought he was letting me through on the entry, but he clearly had other ideas. We spoke to him earlier, and he said he was deliberate on your part. Any comment on that? Uh, it was just a misunderstanding. You've always gone by mayor, and now you're in a team financed by your father, driving in your brother's seat. Would you go back to the butler name? Should have expected it, right? I thought you did. It's not what I mean. I mean, I'm a woman. I get it. I'm happy to talk about it. And what is it? Well, it's always the same, isn't it? So you're a woman, and then every question about Dad, about Devon, about the butler, name. Just forget about it. Oh, I can never get away from it, can I? The only question about the race was about Aiden. Well, you know, maybe if we'd let it run a little longer, there would have been... Casper? Don't defend them. Sorry, you're right. Sorry. <sighs> Look, it's fine. I'll be faster next time. The incident at Baku, do you think she did it on purpose? She did do it on purpose. Yeah, check the footage. So you didn't warm to her? We weren't the best of friends, no. Hey, Mum. Callie, I couldn't be prouder, darling. Well done. Oh, thanks, Mum. It was a good race. Felt great out there. Oh, it was a, a good race. Oh, uh, no, what is it? What, what do you mean, what is it? What's what? I can hear it in your voice, Mum. It was a good race. No, it's nothing. Go on. No, no, it's just that... Do it on purpose, did you? <laughs> when you clipped poor Aiden. I can't believe you're even asking me. Did you really raise your daughter to behave like that? Well, I'm really not sure. It was an accident, Mum. I'm I'm hanging up. Oh, of course it was. Uh, bye, darling. Lots of love. Hey, boss. Got another one for you. Andreo, you seen this latest article doing the rounds today? Three weeks later, and the press are still going with narrative of the rivalry at Connorsport. Still, they just need an angle for Silverstone. Paid no attention. But they're right, aren't they? It's not like Kali and Aiden are suddenly treating each other like teammates. They just need time. It took me a while to warn to Aiden back in the day. Well, that's because you were a grumpy old man. <laughs> yeah. Well, something's never changed, I guess. 
Now you're just grumpier and older. I'll leave you to it. Ciao. Bye.